No one knows how old Raja is. They think he's one. His mother should still be feeding him, but villagers in the district of Aceh Utara captured him, trampling their crops, and in desperation, they're holding him ransom for government compensation for the damage he caused. They say they may have to teach him tricks to raise the money. The campaigning wildlife cameraman who filmed these scenes says Raja was only in the crops because his natural habitat is under threat. The real question is why are the elephants coming here in the first place? Well, their own habitats are being destroyed. And the fragile habitats they depend upon for their future are disappearing into thin air. Conservationists claim that bulldozing forests to make way for palm oil plantations is the biggest threat to the Sumatran elephants, rhinos, orangutans and tigers that live here. The only place where all four threatened species coexist. They claim this logging was illegal, but they're more worried about a new planning law, which they say opens up over a million hectares of forest to develop plantations, an area as big as Yorkshire. The provincial government claims large tracts of natural forest will be conserved and the area to be developed is much smaller. But charities here trying to protect Asian elephants say it's still too much. For once, everybody is in agreement in the scientific and environmental circles that in order for the wildlife in these forests to stand any chance of survival, around 65% of those forests need protecting. The plan that's being proposed only protects 45%. So there's a difference of at least a million hectares, which is at least a million football pitches. So it's absolutely massive and totally catastrophic. There are only about 2,400 Sumatran elephants left. In the past 25 years, 70% of their habitat has disappeared. Captive elephants have been retrained to seek out wild herds so rangers can monitor their populations and drive them away from villages in an attempt to reduce the conflict between human populations and wildlife. But the fear is, if the development law goes ahead, many more elephants like Raja could end up as casualties of that conflict. Lawrence McGinty, ITV News.